America needs a superhero. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. All right, so we got to have a real conversation here about what's going on with Donald Trump. I think if you're looking at this major announcement situation and you're coping and you're telling yourself, well, it's all part of some plan, some 3D chess move, it's a distraction, it's a troll, you're either being dishonest or you're being delusional. This was not a good look, pure and simple. I'm not going to sit here, open the mic and just lie and cope about how I feel. Donald Trump just spent a day creating suspense and hype around a major announcement and that major announcement was a friggin nft project i mean you've got to be kidding me right an nft project after the crypto crash after all of these ridiculous nft scams and not only that but just with all the financial hardship with all the issues that the country is facing the big announcement and the big focus is selling scuffed nfts for 99 dollars this should piss you off. And you know what? It shouldn't just piss off people who are skeptical of Donald Trump. It should piss off the most adamant of Trump supporter because this is not it. And what I'm asking myself is who's responsible for this? Was this Donald Trump's idea? Is this how he truly envisions starting his 2024 campaign? Or is it the people around him? In my opinion, I think this is a consistent problem that Donald Trump has had. He has too many people around him who are providing him with absolutely terrible advice. He doesn't have enough people willing to challenge him, and whether that's a result of his ego or whatever it is, I'm not exactly sure, but the dynamic seems to be broken. This was a campaign blunder. I'm not going to go as far to say what other people are suggesting, that it's over for Donald Trump and that he essentially ended his campaign. I think that's completely ridiculous. It's a small little thing that eventually people are going to forget about. But moving forward, this cannot be the strategy. If Donald Trump is to achieve 2024 electoral success, it's going to have to start in the primary. And with these early blunders in his campaign, it's alienating people and Ron DeSantis is rising in the polls. I mean, if Donald Trump is to have 2024 electoral success, he's got to win the primary first. And this right here, this ain't it, chief. And I think the most fervent, the most adamant of Trump supporters have to acknowledge that and voice that. Essentially, what I'm trying to say here is it's time to bring back 2016 Trump. Where is that guy? That's who voters want. Voters don't want crypto NFT Trump who barely posts and isn't involved. Voters want based anti-establishment MAGA beast Trump. You know, this guy. One thing I do is get rid of carried interest. The One of the greatest provisions for people like me, to be honest with you. I give up a lot when I run because I knock out the tax code. And she could have done this years ago, by the way. She's a United States, she was a United States Senator. She complains that Donald Trump took advantage of the tax code. Well. Why didn't you change it? Why didn't you change it when you were a senator? The reason you didn't is that all your friends take the same advantage that I do. And I do. You have provisions in the tax code that, frankly, we could change. But you wouldn't change it because all of these people give you the money so you can take negative ads on Donald Trump. But, and I say that about a lot of things. You know, I've, I've heard Hillary complaining about so many different things over the years. I wish you had done this. But she's been there for 30 years. She's been doing this stuff. She never changed, and she never will change. She never will change. For you to say that there was nothing wrong with you deleting 39,000 emails, again, you should be ashamed of yourself. It's just not true, and so please you, oh, go you didn't delete to, them? You allow didn't her to respond, delete please. Personal emails, not oh, official. 33,000? Yeah. Please allow her to respond. She didn't talk while you talked. Yes, that's true, I didn't. And because you have I nothing to say. Broad-based, inclusive growth is what we need in America, not more advantages for people at the very top. Mr. Trump, typical politician, all talk, no action, sounds good, doesn't work, never going to happen. Our country is suffering because people like Secretary Clinton have made such bad decisions. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. That's the Donald Trump that people miss. I don't know if Donald Trump has people around him that are telling him that he needs to be more presidential and calculated, but if Trump lowers his energy level, well then it's no longer Trump, it's someone else. It's not the same guy, it's not the same energy, it's not the same in your face, constantly firing off on all cylinders, full throttle Trump. Where is this guy? And you want to shut it down, I, you no, keep no, talking no, no, about no. it. The last time, Chuck, you shut it down. No, no, no. And then 
and you open it up very quickly. And 20 times. I don't want to do what you did. 20 but, times Chuck, you have called for, I will shut down the government if I don't get my wool. None of us have you said You want to know something? You've said okay, it. Okay, you want to put that on my You've said it. I'll take it. Okay, okay, good. You know what I'll say? Yes. If we don't get what we want, one way or the other, whether it's through you, through a military, through anything you want to call, I will shut down the government. Okay, Absolutely. fair enough. And we I am disagree. proud, and I'll we tell you disagree. what, I am proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck, because the people of this country don't want criminals and people that have lots of problems and drugs pouring into our country. So I will take the mantle. I will be the one to shut it down. I'm not going to blame you for it. The last time you shut it down, it didn't work. I will take the mantle Good. of shutting down. That is the man that people are looking for. But now that is overshadowed by an NFT collection, and that I find frustrating. Everyone should find that frustrating because it's a distraction. And you know what? He's distracting from himself because later on in that day, he also released this video. I'm not going to play the whole thing. Actually, I'll just play a small segment from the start. In recent weeks, bombshell report reports have confirmed that a sinister group of deep state bureaucrats, Silicon Valley tyrants, left-wing activists, and depraved corporate news media have been conspiring to manipulate and silence the American people. They have collaborated to suppress vital information on everything from elections to public health. The censorship cartel must be dismantled and destroyed and it must happen immediately. And here's my plan. First, within hours of my inauguration, I will sign an executive order banning any federal department or agency from colluding with any organization, business, or person to censor, limit, categorize, or impede the lawful speech of American citizens. And so I don't understand why that wasn't the major announcement. And I also don't understand why that was also lacking energy. Where is the friggin' Trump MAGA energy? The 2024 primary process is right around the corner, and the American people are going to have to make their decision pretty soon. We don't know who's going to be running against Donald Trump in the primary yet. So far, Donald Trump is absolutely still in the lead, but his favorability is continuously dropping. He was absolutely smoking Joe Biden in hypothetical 2024 matchup polls. That's kind of no longer the case. Ron DeSantis has not been anywhere near him in primary polling data, and now Ron DeSantis is gaining some serious, serious steam ahead of the primary season. I personally would love to see a second Trump term, but just because I'd love to see something doesn't mean it's going to happen. The only person who could make that happen is Donald Trump, and so they got to clean up some of these messes. Trump has got to get back to his former self, the former 2016 Trump glory, because that's what the people want, because clearly there's a lot of people who would be open to change. The country is in free fall, culturally, economically. All of the issues that Trump ran on and won in 2016 are worse than they've ever been, or at least some of the major headline issues. And so Trump needs to come swinging, hitting hard, targeting all of those voter issues, going after this corruption, standing up for free speech, border security, common sense foreign policy, putting an end to wasteful spending in the blank check offered to foreign interests and foreign nations. That is what people want want to see, not a cruddy NFT project. I don't know, that's my opinion at least, but whenever I record videos like this and I criticize something that Donald Trump is doing, there's generally people who get angry in the comments section who will vehemently disagree with me, and you know what? That's fine. It's actually more than fine. I'm just letting you guys know how I feel, and I'm actually very curious how the most loyal Trump base feels about this. You know my opinion. I'm curious to hear yours in the comment section. Do you think that this was all part of the plan, that it was a distraction, or Donald Trump just trying to keep his name in the media or do you think that it was a mistake let me know exactly what you guys think my opinion is as i stated i think donald trump has and has had the wrong people around him who continuously guide him in the wrong direction that's what i got for you guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel i'm gonna get out of here thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one